What's good, people? It's your boy Persona of Gaming with Persona and one half of the What's Up PlayStation Podcast crew. And welcome to my Modern Warfare 3 impressions video. I've got a lot to talk about. Uh, some good, some bad, some in between. And so, you know, we're going to definitely, we're going to definitely break it down, man. Listen, I've been playing Modern Warfare 3 beta all weekend, right? Uh, you know, I started on Friday and uh, I hadn't stopped until even today. I think the beta is over at, as, as of the recording of this video. But if I had to count how many hours I put into this beta, I want to say I put about maybe 25, 30 hours into the beta over the course of the weekend into this week. Um, you know, th that's saying something when it comes to Call of Duty, because typically with a lot of the newer Call of Duties, I haven't really been able to stomach playing more than an hour, right? You know, Modern Warfare 2, Vanguard, um, and things of that nature. But, you know, Modern Warfare 3, I think, is getting, getting back to its roots, so to speak, uh, when it comes to the fundamentals of Call of Duty. I definitely do think that it's a step in the right direction, and... You know, this is definitely something that I have been I've been clamoring for for God knows how long now. And for us to finally be getting something along the lines of that with this new Call of Duty that we can expect this year. Um, I am happy. But, you know, just because the fundamentals are kind of there doesn't necessarily mean that everything is, is perfect when it comes to this game. And I do have my gripes and I, and I do want to start with the negatives when it comes to, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 3, because I, I do have quite a few. Right. And, you know, one of my biggest things with, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is the time to kill or TTK, right? Now, I'm, I'm, this is, I'm a bit conflicted with this. The reason why I'm a bit conflicted is because the first day of the beta, I thought the TTK was, like, atrocious. Like, I, it was just, like, it was almost, uh, I don't want to say unplayable, but I was losing a lot of gunfights, as you'll see with this some of the clips here playing uh, in, the, in the background, I was losing a lot of gunfights that I just didn't understand why. Part of me was like, okay, yes, it's the TTK, but then another part of me is like, ah, uh, you know, I think I've been playing, I'm so accustomed to Modern Warfare 2 and just how fast you kill in that game and, and you know, kind of what's going on with that, that I, that I was kind of just thinking, oh, you know, I just need to adjust to how this game is when it comes to, you know, the TTK. I by the by like Saturday, like by like Saturday, Saturday afternoon, I was definitely much more accustomed to the TTK. But I do think that when it comes to the time to kill, it does need to be adjusted, right? There are times where like I'm using and I'm I'm shooting an enemy with a sub, with a AR, regardless if it's silenced or not. And like they'll like they'll edge me out when it and, and get the kill. And I'm strafing and, and side shooting and all these other things. And I, I, I'm just like, yo, man, like, how are you getting this kill, man? It just doesn't make sense to me. So I do think that the TTK is a little bit inconsistent. I would like, you know, I think the TTK is about like 150. I would want to see it be maybe, maybe 125, 130. Drop it down to there by like 20 points and let's see how it works. Just because I feel like with certain gunfights, they're getting, I'm getting the advantage on the enemy but they're edging me out with the kill, right? So, I, you know, I do think that that's something that needs to be looked at and tweaked. But, you know, one of the other things as well is, uh, you know, at, on the first day, and this is why I say, like, I'm a bit conflicted. Because on the first day, there was this, uh, when the beta launched, they had the, they have this equipment called Battle Rage, Battle Rage, which pretty much heals you and kind of gives you extra life. And the more kills you get, the longer it keeps going and stuff like that. So, like, a lot of people will run around rampant with that. And I hadn't really realized that. And then once I realized that, I'm like, okay, maybe that's what's throwing off the TTK. That's why I'm saying, like, when it comes to TTK, I'm a little bit conflicted. But then when it comes to uh, when they nerfed it, and shout out to Sledgehammer, because they definitely nerfed Battle Rage, like, pretty much into the ground. Um, I did see the TTK improve, but still not where I think the sweet spot is for me personally, right? So... TTK is definitely a big negative for me. Another big negative for me is definitely going to be the spawns. And this has kind of been a running issue with Call of Duty the past couple of Call of Duties where the spawn system in the game is, I guess it's tweaked for high engagement regardless of the, the size of the map. Because there are times where 
you know, regardless if you're playing an objective-based game or, you know, TDM, kill confirmed or whatever, you know, the spawn logic would always put enemies behind me, on the side of me, or in the in the general vicinity of me, regardless of the size of the map, which really throws off the flow of, uh, you know, if you if you kill, say you get a double kill and you're trying to reload, and then the third guy or the person you just killed uh, spawns right there next to you, you know, like you have no time to breathe, and it, it's kind of it's kind of jarring at times because it's like, yo, you can have a really nice flow. You can even be running around. It, like, this isn't just about, like, camping, because I know some people may hear that and say, oh, we'll stop camping, blah, blah, blah. This is, like, running gun, camp, or whatever. There are times where, like, I'm running. I'll get a kill, get two kills. I'll flank the enemies or whatever. And then, you know, I'm running, you know, running, running. And the person I just killed will then spawn directly behind me as I'm running away from where I just got those, those, those one or two or three kills, however many. And, you know, just that spawn logic doesn't make sense especially given the size of the maps that is one thing that throughout the entire weekend it got worse and worse and worse where it really just became unbearable at times where i'm like look why are you spawning this enemy like right here next to me you, you feel me um i do think they really do need to take a look at the spawn logic and and get and give that a once over just to kind of spread it out a little bit uh i get that you know you want it's call of duty it's very fast paced you want to have high engagement blah 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 but I do feel like the spawn logic needs to be looked at just a little bit and tweaked so that, you know, it, you know, it, even on big maps, you're not having these crazy spawn locations where enemies are spawning behind you on a map like a state. Right. Uh, so, you know, that's definitely another negative that I do think they need to look at. One of the third one of my third gripes with the game is definitely going to have to be gun balancing. Um, you know, and this is something that I think Call of Duty has definitely struggled with the past couple Call of Duties as well where they kind of come out the gate kind of messed up or the guns come out a little imbalanced and they kind of fix it along the way. Not all the way, not always, but um, I think in Sledgehammer's case, they're really good with like, you know, listening to the community and, and, and really trying to tweak things to make sure that it, everything is kind of level. But I do think when it comes, just, you know, playing the beta for about 30 hours, one of the things that I definitely started to see formulate was somewhat of a meta, right? And the meta in this Modern Warfare 3 beta was absolutely that Striker SMG, which you see me using here in this video, and the MCW, which is the assault rifle um, that you saw in some of the other clips earlier. That's definitely the meta in this game, right? Uh, the MCW is real good for the far range maps, even for the close range maps. Like, the MCW is dropping, and this Striker is just... It is insane how good the striker is, man. Like you, you can drop people from far, from close, and it's a sub. Drop them from far, from close. You got good mobility. There was definitely a meta forming within the game, and obviously, you know, it's a beta, right? So it's like, okay, well, you know, it's a beta. So you know, how many weapons do you really expect people to use? Which I get, but you know, there was a fair, uh, a fairly good balance when it comes to the number of weapons in the game uh, for the beta. And most of what I saw was MCW and Striker. More Strikers than MCWs, honestly. Like, even on the big maps, people were running the, 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 the Striker or submachine gun. And the issue, the thing is that with the Striker, it's so good. You know, if you try to use another gun, you're going to get un, outgunned, outclassed, right? Uh, regardless of whatever gun you're trying to use, the Striker is beating out pretty much any any gun that you come up against it, right? So I do think that they definitely need to take a look at that just so that when the full game drops, you know, the meta isn't what it is in the beta and like they kind of can clean that up a little bit and take and, and keep control of that. You feel me? So gun balancing is definitely something they need to look at within the game for sure. My final negative, honestly, is is going to have to be the some of the equipment, right? So we talked about batteries a little bit earlier in the video, but one of the other issues that I had is... Uh, there's two lethal equipments. One is called the breacher drone and the other one is called the mosquito. So the breacher drone is something that you can throw and whatever and in whatever direction you throw it, it's like a little drone, obviously, thing, and it explodes on impact. Now, it's not like a, it doesn't have like any type of heat seeking or homing type of uh, capabilities, whatever. It's just like whatever di direction you throw and throw it in, it'll go. The issue with that is I've come across people who would throw like in the middle of a gun engagement. If I run up on somebody and I'm shooting a gun and strafing, 
they're strafing, but they're not shooting. They're throwing that breacher drone and getting the kill. That has happened to me before. I, I wish I would have saved uh, some of those clips, but that has happened to me as well. And oh boy, oh boy, uh, that needs to be looked at because it, 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 it sh I don't think it should be like being thrown and, and, and that fast. And with the mosquito, I, the mosquito, I just feel like stuff like that is just a little, little too newbie for me because the mosquito is just something where you throw it in the sky and it like hovers around in a specific area. And if an enemy walks in the area, they'll lock onto it and explode and, you know, and chase it and it explode. But I, st I don't know, man, like, I, and maybe this is just me with like just more of a personal thing. I just feel like stuff like that is real newbie. And, you know, I, I feel like that type of stuff kind of just brings, like, this weird imbalance to the game as well, where it's just like, you know, you're not relying on skill. It's just more so on, you know, the luck of the luck of the AI or whatever. It's just, I don't know. Stuff like that, I'm kind of just like, eh, I'm, I'm kind of good on that, you know? So that that's more of a personal, personal gripe. All right. We're done. We're done. We're done with the negatives, right? Although something, something else might come to me later in the video. Who knows? But let's get into the positives of the game, right? Because I do think Modern Warfare 3, like I said at the beginning of this video, I do think Modern Warfare 3 is a good step in the right direction when it comes to fundamentals of Call of Duty. What am I talking about? So, you know, for those who follow me on Twitter, you know, watch some of my videos or watch What's a PlayStation podcast and heard me and Bari give our thoughts on some of the older Call of Duties, um, you know, like Vanguard or uh, most recently Modern Warfare 2. You know, one of the biggest gripes for me is absolutely the movement and perk system, right? Um, more specifically, Ninja, right? And I think when it comes to Modern Warfare 2, uh, excuse me, Modern Warfare 3, they have absolutely taken a good step in the right direction of bringing back some of the great fundamentals of what makes Call of Duty good. Movement, gunplay, strafing, slide canceling, jump canceling, reload canceling. A lot of those things that really are easy to learn. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to learn depending on who you are, but the reward for, for mastering a lot of that stuff I think is really good. Also the perk system. You know, the fact that they brought back Ninja as a perk, thank God, <laughs> right? Like now us running gunners out there rejoice because we absolutely are definitely uh you know gonna be running around the map and catching the flank like i love to do in call of duty man that's that's like that's one of my biggest and most fun play styles when it comes to playing cod is running around yeah i can be strategic you know strategic and do strategic camping quote unquote i'm doing air quotes right now you don't see it but i do think that uh the movement and 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 strafing and slide canceling and all that stuff i do think that stuff is really really good um very fun very addictive right and this is how i knew that you know this is how you know that for me it was good and i was having a lot of fun even in in the negatives you know like there's there's some pretty big negatives but all in all i definitely was having a lot of fun it didn't really feel fatigued playing call of duty over the weekend and a big part of that was the movement it was those fundamentals, man. Listen, Call of Duty developers, don't skimp on the fundamentals, man. Like, we all were noobs at one point. I wasn't always good at Call of Duty way back when, when I was a wee little lad. <laughs> uh, I wasn't always great at Call of Duty, but I had to learn. I had to learn the fundamentals. I had to understand the game, the, the, the dynamics of the game in order to get good. Now, obviously, we live in a different time now where, you know, some people don't want to take the time to do that. So developers are kind of forced to have to cater to that, so to speak. I just appreciate that Sledgehammer is actually, you know, saying, you know what, you know, let's put let's put what made COD great back into Call of Duty. And one of those things is definitely the movement, ninja, run and gun, play style, very fast paced, twitch like shooting. Um, shout out to Sledgehammer. I do I, I loved it in this game. They definitely the movement is so great. Another big positive for me with this game, and this is, you know, this is this weird. I'm conflicted here. I am gonna give it as a positive. But I'm also going to put a, an asterisk next to it, right? So another another positive is definitely going to be the maps, right? Uh, you know, although they are old school maps, they're old Modern Warfare 2 maps. Um, Modern Warfare 2 has some really, really great maps in its repertoire. You feel me? And, you know, that was definitely reflected within the beta. Although, you know, one map that I wasn't really feeling is Rust. And I think this is kind of me kind of getting older, right? Where like some of those super small, super, super high engagement maps where you really don't have a chance to think 
like Russ, Shipment, things like that. Nuketown, not so much, surprisingly. I think Nuketown is Nuketown is a really good balance between that high octane gameplay, don't really have time to think, and having a bit of time to think, right? Um, but Rust for me, man, was probably my least favorite throughout the weekend. But I think the the map selection was really good, right? Favela, even back in old school COD, I wasn't really a big Favela fan, but it's better than Rust, right? But I do like the maps um, that we are going to be getting with Modern Warfare 2 maps in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, we're going to be getting 16 maps, all Modern Warfare 2 maps, but all going to be playable during the core 6v6 experience, which I'm happy with. Now, the reason why I'm putting an asterisk to this is because despite this kind of being like a reimagining, if you will, or um, a, a redone, a done up, you know, Modern Warfare 2 when it comes to the maps, I would have loved to see... Uh, brand new maps make it into Modern Warfare 3 as well. They said they're going to bring us some of those brand new maps, uh, original maps in Season 1 and onward, but I would have loved to see at least two or three kind of make it into make it into the, the lineup of uh, launch maps. But nonetheless, you know, High Rise and, you know, uh, Estate and all these other maps from Modern Warfare 2, I, I, I absolutely love these maps. So uh, I'm happy. I'm very happy with the maps. But again, there's an asterisk to that, right? Outside of that, man, really and truly, I do think that this Modern Warfare 3 is definitely going to be shaping up to be a really, uh, a really fun, addictive game and experience. Um, I do think that, you know, one of my other positives with the game, like I said, is the perk system. I do think that the perks in this game are great. You know, when it comes to ghost, ghosts, you now have to be moving for it to be effective. Uh, when it comes to ninja, ninja is now a perk again, thank God. And some of the other perks, man, like uh, one of my favorite perks to use over the weekend was uh, this perk called Stalker Stalker Boots, which increases ADS and strafe speed, uh, increases ADS and increases strafe speed while in ADS, which I love because I'm somebody that loves to strafe in Call of Duty games. So I, you know, that was on, another thing was with the perk system and like the, the gun attachments and things like that, I thought were really good as well. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I am. I, I think I we found a happy medium for me personally with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 that I'm really, really enjoying the experience. If they can fix some of those negatives that I had at the beginning of the video, I do think that this is going to be a really, really great experience. But yeah, let me know, you know, in the comments down below, like, did you enjoy Modern Warfare 3 beta? Are you going to pick up the full game? Uh, you know, I'm interested to know how uh, some other folks in the community are feeling uh, when it comes to this Modern Warfare 3. For me, it's a day one. I am definitely uh, can't wait to play some more next weekend and, and beta number two. And obviously in November when the full release comes out. And obviously, you know, definitely going to be giving my thoughts more on second weekend's beta to see if anything changes from, you know, this week. And, you know, how I'm feeling with some of the other maps and things like that and the other um, higher level and whatnot. Um, but yeah, man, listen, I appreciate y'all so much, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. It's me, your boy, Persona. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week. I'm out. Peace.